Hi, Sarah here with the layout process video for you today. This one is for the UK Scrap Addicts creative team. So if you are watching it on my personal channel, then do follow the link below to find the layouts done by the other ladies over in the UK Scrap Addicts um, creative team and vice versa. If you watch me on the YouTube channel for UK Scrap Addicts, then do uh, click on the link below if you'd like to see more layouts done by me. So without further ado, um, this month we are concentrating on um, black backgrounds. That's um, our focus for the month. And so I've decided to do quite an 80s inspired kind of neon almost looking kind of layout here. I've started off by using some impasto paints. These are by the Art Alchemy Prima. And these are from Thompson's Craft Supplies and uh, they are available in Louise's shop. I will link her shop below for you if you want to go check them out. The stencil is also from her shop and most of the products that I do use today. Um, it was originally from a kit but the um, items are available individually still if you do want to get hold of any of the things you see today. So I've started off by laying down the paints across this stencil so I get that nice um, rainbow effect and I do repeat that process um, a couple of times then let, let that dry and then I switch the colours around slightly and then repeat it twice more so a lot of the page is covered. You see there is a little um, gap in the middle but that will be where my um, photograph goes so that will actually be covered up. And once I've done that, I do use the stencil, the paint that's left on the stencil and a fan brush. And I just add a little bit of um, water and just add a few splashes of color um, around the edge as well. So now that's completely dry, I'm going to do my paper layers. I firstly just add a little bit of a black border onto my photo that helps it stand out on such a vibrant background. And then behind that, I'm adding a couple of papers. I think these are both from the graffiti collection by Ella and Viv. But if you do um, type in graffiti over in Louise's shop, then you will find them quite easily if you do want to do a bit of an 80s inspired layout as well. So I cho I'm just choosing which side of this paper I want to use because I want to include some of that yellow and pink. I don't want the darker colors from this particular piece here. So I want the more brightly, the brighter area down in this corner. So I'm just um, trimming that out there and then I'll layer them together but on slight angles just like I've done with my texture, not my texture paste, with my paint. So there's lots of um, different angles across the page. And before I stick these down I'm just adding some black soot distress ink around the edges on both these pieces so there's no white edge um, where it's been cut and it just I think it just looks a better on a black background unless unless I was purposefully tearing it and so I wanted a nice white tear but mostly I'd like to make sure that the edges are all dark as well and then I've just got that little title piece there as well which I've also inked around the edges that's actually a sticker so I just peeled it back slightly just so I could get the edges inked now these are little um, resin pieces they're really lightweight they're not too thick so they're pretty good for on layouts um, by Artful Days. I'll link her shop below as well. And I've also got some chipboard pieces here that I thought went really well with the style of the papers and all the neon and things. Um, so here, all I'm doing is adding gesso with a sponge brush, first of all. And then once I've sponged them all with the gesso, all the bits that are a little bit more fine detailed, I just go back in and just use a paintbrush just to um, finish off the edges off like the feathers and anywhere where I've just missed a little bit and then I just let the gesso dry onto these pieces and then I can just paint over the top of them and it creates a new surface. I also added some to that tool that was white and now I've added black to that as well and now I'm just going to come back in with the same paints I used at the beginning and I'm just going to add some graduated kind of colour to my um, feathers and dot some colour around the other pieces as well and I just go back and forth with two colours here and then just blend in the middle I do show obviously this first one how I do it and then because um, it takes a while I don't show the entire process of the others but you get the idea 
so I've just gone back and forth with the colours so that the middle bit blends nicely and as you can see that's my feathers done all with using the same four colours from the beginning in the texture paste and now for these shapes I just dab it on randomly going through each colour so that each of these chipboard shapes and the also the tool just have a little dash of colour here and there on them as well but I still want some of the black showing through too and then all this will layer amongst my two papers as well so now I'm going to layer all my dried um, ephemera and whatnot embellishments together so I'm using some 3D gloss gel this works great if you've got something with texture on the background because you can just spread a thin layer when you're using um, paper and I'm just adding some foam here just to add a bit of um, height to it as well so I can tuck embellishments underneath as well as on top and then I'm just securing that down it also gives you a bit of wiggle room as you'll see in a minute I do nudge it across and I'm able to do that because the gel isn't dry so you can slide it slightly and it does um, dry clear as well it doesn't stay white and um, again I'm just adding a little bit of foam just so that I can pop my next um, piece of paper up but still leave room to tuck embellishments underneath afterwards and now because this is nice and thin this chipboard this will glue to the um, photo and to the paper below and then I just weigh it down with a pot while that dries but as you can see I'm just moving it across which I can do because it was still wet so I've just put that on, on top just add a bit of pressure and then I've added a little bit of foam behind that title sticker as well and again using the gel to um, add the embellishments here and there as well all around the edge of the photo and I've got a gorgeous Bramble Fox um, flare that also came in the um, mixed media kit that this is all from so I add that in its own little frame in the corner there and layer the last two feathers up down the side there I've trimmed this um, one of those little mini frame shapes uh, into and added one part to one side and then the other to the other it just needs a teeny bit of adhesive to hold that down and then finally I just add a few enamel dots I do end up moving these around and changing the colors a little bit later on but you'll see in the close-up at the end um, what I finally settled on so I'm just adding them in three places around my layout going by the rule of three thing I do as you can see I'm moving around and around a little bit there I <laughs> probably didn't need to leave this much of this in so I'm trying to decide where it looks most balanced I decide there so it's at three even points around the layout and finally using this super cheap acrylic paint a bit of water spritzed on it it's just on a scrap of card there and my little fan brush again I'm just adding just a tiny bit of water because I want to keep it nice and thick so that the white stays nice and bright white and then I just go around the whole thing and add just a few splashes of the white paint and that is me done so thanks for joining me today if you'd like to see more than, from me then please do head on over to my channel like and subscribe and if you haven't already subscribed to the UK Scrap Addicts channel then please do you'll get to see loads and loads of inspiring layouts by the other ladies um, in this channel too all links will be in the description below and stay tuned at the end for some close-ups. So thanks again for joining me. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.